Okay, you ready? Here's how to make an utter rod. All you need is a glass bottle with the bottom removed. I did this one by taking a butter knife, putting it in, swirling it around, and then jiggling it up and down over a trash can. As you can see, the edge was not perfectly smooth. I've got kind of this lump here. You want to avoid that by aiming for the direct center of the glass. Then it sanded it down. I sanded it down so as to produce something that I would, wouldn't would be too uncomfortable pressing into my hand. So as you can see, in order to get a tone on a bottle, you need rigid surfaces. That will be important later on. So you've got your bot, two rubber bands, a hose clamp available at any hardware store, and a glove. For an Alto Utter Bot, you want a beer-sized bottle and a small glove. So here's what you do. Rubber band on. Glove on. And you shimmy it up to the point where the volume in the glove is about equal to the volume in the bot. That's about here. Place the second rubber band on top of the first, and then tighten into that with a hose clamp. The point is getting a watertight seal, and this is the current best that we've come up with. But you're welcome to experiment with others. Tighten it up with a screwdriver. Test for air tightness by blowing like this. Fill up with water up to the point right here, because if you go too low, you don't get a sound because you don't have a rigid body. And then, you sort of to play it, you grab from the bottom and you squeeze the water up to varying levels. Take it and run.